Hello everyone, in this video I will be talking about gradient and then I will discuss the type first linear gradient and then radial gradient. So what is basically a gradient? Gradient is basically moving from one color smoothly to another. So let's start by discussing linear gradient first. So linear gradient is having attribute x1, x2, y1 and y2 that are the starting and ending position of the gradient. Then for giving a color you need a stop tag and then you need to define offset that will define from where the gradient color will begin and end. And fill attribute is for linking the gradient to the element like if you are using a circle so for that you need to fill the gradient id in the fill attribute let's start now i have already created a circle using svg that you can see in chrome so now let's start with gradient directly so first write def that's for definition now let's write linear write gradient make sure your g is capital then id grad x1 let's write 0 percent then y1 0 percent then write x2 100 percent then y2 0 percent it will create a horizontal gradient then write stop for color the night it's offset that will be 0% so it will be starting from x direction that from 0% then write stop color we will be giving red then stop opacity write one then write another stop for 100% write offset 100% then stop color blue then write stop opacity that will be one then close the linear gradient tag change the fill url give the id of the gradient save and refresh the browser there you can see a linear gradient let's change the opacity of the red color so change stop opacity to 0.4 save refresh the browser yes red color is having less opacity now so let's change now y direction let's change 500 percent it will be in vertical direction now so if you want to change the red to downward and blue to upward so just change the stop color now red is in the downward direction now let's start with radial gradient radial gradient is having attribute cx and cy and that will be the center point and then r is for radius that will create the outermost circle then fx and xy that will be the innermost circle let's change linear to radial and what's different it makes so it's starting from center now so let's add cx 50 and cy 50 uh, add percent to it save it doesn't make any difference so let's add radius let's say 50 percent then add fx also 50 percent and fy 50 percent now let's inspect it and see what changes these value make so open the radial gradient and change cx cx to 20 percent then change it to 100 percent there you can see the difference then change cy to 0 percent no let's add 200 percent first then change it to 0 percent then change it to again 50 and cx also to 50 now change fx 0% then change it to 100% then change cy to 0% now change fx to 50 again and fy to 100% there you can see how it's changing now let's change the radius let's say for 
then write hundred percent then change it to 30 then to 70 then let's say 10 let's change fy to 50 percent now change the radius let's see 10 100 percent then 0 percent then 50 percent let's change 30 then 60 percent then change cx cx to 20 percent cy to 30 percent again change cx to 100 percent so that's how you can play around with these values thank you so much for watching